I am following the breaking news today. Tesla Motors has been acquired by Apple uh, in a surprise move. I know we've heard a lot of rumors a few years ago with Apple trying to possibly acquire Tesla. Uh, then they decided to go uh, for their own version uh, of the software and to creating of their own car. They fail at that and finally they have pulled the trigger and acquired Tesla Motors. Now, we don't know too many details yet, but a few of them have leaked out already so we can go over them and see what this will really mean for the current and future Tesla owners everywhere. First and foremost, going with a long-standing uh, policy of all Apple products, there will be no Windows in future Tesla products. As a matter of fact, as you probably know, no Apple product has ever had Windows in them, so this will be no different once uh, Tesla Motors will be moving forward with the production starting next month. Another thing that will change, and of course this is another long-standing policy of Apple uh, going back into the 80s, uh, the, the price of uh, Tesla cars will now be three to four times more uh, than their competitors, so more people would want to buy them uh, naturally. So that will be another thing that will be changed. Uh, the website will be updated soon and you will be able to see how much uh, the car that if you have one on order, how much it will actually cost you. Another thing that will come with no surprise, of course, the charging cables and the charging stations, uh, if you have one right now, will not be compatible with the future cars and the future charging ports. You will have to buy one again uh, that will of course cost you three to four times more than the previous one. Now you will also notice that there will be some over-the-air updates that will be pushed in the next uh, couple of months. Uh, uh, first of all, Slacker service will only be able to play Bono or U2 songs uh, and of course you will be able to buy them at only 99 cents in the iTunes stores. Another exciting feature that you're going to see is that now with just a push of a button you will be able to recreate um, that, that pattern of the cracks on your iPhone. You'll be able to recreate it instantly on your center display in your Tesla to match it perfectly. And of course, if you don't have an iPhone, any other uh, Android or Windows device will not be compatible uh, with Tesla cars and you will have to get uh, one of the iPhone products to be able to use a phone in Tesla cars moving forward. Uh, the Tesla factories will be moved to China. Uh, they will be closed here in America and, and thus solving not only uh, the cost problem, uh, bringing it way down, but also many problems that Tesla has been having with their workers trying to uh, create a union, uh, complaining about long hours or unfair wages. All of those problems are going to be solved because those are not problems in China and therefore everyone's going to be happy. Well, that's it for now. Uh, of course, more news to come in the next few days. And Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next week's episode.